Psalm 145 verses 8 to 13. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Let them make known your might to the children of Adam, and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Have you ever thought that the Lord has given you some type of burden you can't handle? We will turn to the scriptures for an answer. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 13 to 15, No trial has come to you but what is human. God is faithful and will not let you be tried beyond your strength, but with the trial he will also provide a way out, so that you may be able to bear it. James chapter 1 verses 13 to 15, No one experiencing temptation should say, I am being tempted by God, for God is not subject to the temptation to evil, and he himself tempts no one. Rather, each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire conceives and brings forth sin, and when sin reaches maturity, it gives birth to death. Sometimes we become like the ungrateful children and forget all that God has done for us. In your distress, when all these things shall have come upon you, you shall finally return to the Lord, your God, and listen to his voice. Since the Lord, your God, is a merciful God, he will not abandon or destroy you, nor forget the covenant with your ancestors that he swore to them. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in love. The Lord is good to all, compassionate to every creature. God's covenanted, life or death agreement, his grace came to Israel, but it was never meant to be for them alone. alone. Israel was to be the instrument by which God's goodness and mercy became clear to every nation and person he made. See the story of the prodigal son in the Gospel of Luke chapter 15 verses 11 to 39 for a demonstration of God's mercy. Also see, the woman at the well, John chapter 4 verses 1 to 42. You may grow very angry with your child's lifestyle, but you know God may be giving you the opportunity to show the child God's love by accepting and forgiving them. These sad stories both have happy endings because of your willingness to forgive and your continued love of your child. Remember the sin makes you angry but your love for your child will overcome any problem.